Monica Ndil is a correspondent joining us from Occupied Ramallah, and Saad Nimr is a professor of political science who joins us from Birzeit University to expand on this a little bit more. Mona, first over to you. Uh, tell us about what has occurred, and of course, if you can quickly give us an overview of what things, how things are looking so far this year when it comes to demolitions, um, especially in this area. Well, this time, uh, the uh, Audi family were surprised by Israeli forces and Israeli bulldozers raiding Be'er Ayyub neighborhood in Silwan, it's town in Al-Quds, and uh, they, uh, uh, they uh, informed them that they will uh, destroy uh, two residential apartments uh, belong to uh, two brothers from uh, Audi uh, family. They lived in this uh, uh, building uh, uh, in the last 10 years. Now, the Israeli forces claim that they don't have the uh, required and needed Israeli issued permits. However, in fact, it's the Israeli regime refusing to give Palestinians Israeli issued permits, Palestinians living in Al-Quds, in order when they finish constructing their homes, they come and destroy it. This is what's happened. The family had uh, only uh, a very short time to empty uh, those two apartments and then the Israeli bulldozers uh, destroyed the home. Of course, Israeli forces surrounded uh, the Ayyub neighborhood and prevented people to enter it. However, Silwan town is uh, one of the uh, Palestinian towns in Al-Quds where uh, its uh, families are facing numerous demolition uh, orders by the Israeli regime, especially that this town is located very close to the Al-Aqsa uh, Mosque. Well, Saad Nim, when you take a look at um, the way mm, that things have progressed when it comes to things like settlements or evictions or other uh, illegal activities that happen uh, in, on the ground, uh, it's no surprise that they have continued unabated. Um, so we, we're not seeing, obviously, any change with this uh, uh, administration that's not so new anymore. How do you foresee things moving forward? Uh, yes, exactly. It's not uh, uh, new anymore. Uh, we know that, but uh, particularly when we are talking about Jerusalem, Jerusalem is particularly uh, targeted by the Israelis because um, they want to reduce the number of Palestinians who are living in uh, East Jerusalem uh, from uh, around 38% to 12% according to their 2020 plan. Uh, we have more than 20,000 houses uh, were served with orders to be demolished in Jerusalem alone. This is a huge number uh, if we are talking about, you know, uh, uh, houses in Jerusalem. If we are talking about 20,000 already due to be demolished in the coming uh, months and years, it means that they are going to reduce the Palestinian numbers in Jerusalem dramatically. Uh, it's part of Judaizing uh, Jerusalem. It's part of uh, annexing more and more land and building settlements and including settlements within uh, the perimeter of Jerusalem in order to change the demography of Jerusalem to say that this is a, a Jewish city and it's not anymore a Palestinian city. Especially we are talking about East Jerusalem, the part which was occupied in 1967. Now by the international law, this is a crime. Uh, to uh, demolish the houses and to remove the people uh, and to replace them with settlements according to the Fort Geneva Convention. This is also a violation to the law, but at the same time, the Israeli, they don't care because they feel that they are above the law. Plus that the American administration is quite uh, away from uh, dealing with the uh, Palestinian issue now to pressurize Israel to stop all these kind of uh, activities against the Palestinians and the violations. The, uh, the administration, the uh, uh, Biden administration is quite new and now they have lots of other things that they are busy uh, to talk about and to, to do it rather than uh, giving any attention uh, to the Palestinian question. Because of that, the Israeli feel more uh, 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 flexible and more, uh, if you like, relaxed in doing these kind of things, and they are escalating in the last period after Trump administration. They are escalating all these uh, actions and against uh, the Palestinians in order to change uh, dramatically the demography of uh, Jerusalem, uh, not only in Jerusalem, but all, all over the West Bank in general. The last few weeks, we have witnessed lots of attacks uh, on the Bedouin communities in Jordan Valley, uh, also in other uh, cities. Uh, city 
cities and uh, neighborhoods and uh, villages all around the West Bank. But the most dangerous one is the one in Jerusalem because the attention of our uh, intention of the Israelis is to change the demography and to consider is, uh, Jerusalem as a Jewish, a pure Jewish city. Okay. Well, Mona, uh, you, uh, there's, there's an area by the name of Sheikh Jarrah, um, that neighborhood, of which there was supposed to be a ruling uh, for the evictions. Uh, that was supposed to take place, I guess, August 3rd. It's now the 10th. If you can update us on that, if that ruling actually took place and where things stand there. Well, yes, uh, the Israeli court was supposed to, uh, to uh, give its final say about the, about the uh, forced evacuation of Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah. However, it was again postponed. Uh, Palestinians are still there facing any time uh, the Israeli courts could give its uh, a final uh, decision and uh, force Palestinian families to leave uh, Sheikh Jarrah and instead bring uh, instead of them Israeli settlers. This morning, Israeli forces raided Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood and arrested one of its uh, uh, residents, a young Palestinian man. Uh, the reasons are not uh, 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 still are not uh, known. However, uh, uh, we are s s still speaking about uh, checkpoints being uh, uh, erected at the entrance of uh, Sheikh Jarrah. The Israeli soldiers there uh, do not allow anyone to enter uh, this neighborhood unless they are uh, living in the neighborhood. But at the same time, they are giving a green light for free uh, movement uh, of the settlers whenever they want, they can enter and leave uh, the uh, Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. Okay, and finally, um, Asad Nim, when you take a look at the a way that uh, not only this administration so far has dealt with the Israel-Palestinian conflicts, but also the previous um, U.S. President Donald Trump, uh, it's not as if the uh, so-called peace process that they wanted to uh, excel in actually moved at fast pace, and it doesn't seem like with this administration things are going to move that quickly on this issue. Is that a way of uh, the U.S. Uh, on behalf of Israel, in a sense, buying time so that Israel can continue with all the things that it does, like settlements and evictions? It is indeed buying time for the Israeli uh, government. Uh, we are talking about this uh, government, which is even worse than Netanyahu government, which was already bad enough. Uh, uh, this administration, uh, this uh, government, uh, sorry, in, in Israel, uh, is more uh, of representing settlers, and they are uh, that much keen on uh, taking more and more land. Now, since the administration is not doing anything, to the contrary, they issued them the 3.4 billion uh, dollars the annual uh, help for Israel in military uh, aid. Uh, it's still supporting Israel, even if there are some uh, um, statements here and there trying to uh, say that Israel, they shouldn't do uh, uh, unilateral actions against the Palestinians. But in reality, they are not doing anything, nor apply, applying any kind of pressure on the Israeli government to stop its violation to the international law. That would give the Israelis the feeling that the administration is not yet serious about taking any decision regarding what's going on. And they are seizing the time and try to make, uh, make uh, you know, use of the time uh, to uh, and buy the time to uh, uh, establish their own, uh, you know, uh, existence in, in the West Bank and in Jerusalem particularly. So they are now uh, making a kind of a move to gain time more and more in order to build as much as they could of settlements and enlarge existing settlements and uh, confiscating of Palestinian land, uh, knowing that the um, administration now is uh, turning the other face uh, to other issues that they are uh, engaged with. Because of that, the Israeli uh, government is taking the time. Yes, they are buying time, and the, the American administration is giving them that uh, crucial time uh, to change the reality on the ground, and uh, whenever there is a peace process coming back again or negotiations, which I doubt because this government is absolutely not, no, uh, not anywhere near to any kind of even negotiation with the Palestinians in any case. So uh, they are trying to change the reality on the ground before any uh, attempt by the American administration to do something. Okay, thank you for that, Saad Nimr. Professor of Political Science at Birzeit University, and thank you. Mona Kandil, our correspondent there from Occupied Ramallah.